Hello everyone, this is Don from DonWebSolutions.com and in today's tutorial we'll be discussing the different types of products used in Magento. Now there are six different kinds of products that Magento uses. You have your simple, configurable, grouped, bundled, virtual and downloadable products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every single product, kind of give you some examples on what they are so you can better understand them. Simple products. Now, that's the most commonly used product in Magento. Uh, think of any product that doesn't have any options like size, color that you want to sell. Think of an iPhone or a Samsung TV. Uh, that would be the most globally used simple product that is available on Magento. Each simple product has something called a SKU number which is a stock keeping unit. Now, simple products are the most important because most of the other products that we are talking about are variations of what simple products are. The second type of product that we have is what you call a configurable product. Uh, an example, think of a dress that comes in three different sizes and three different colors. You have your red, white, and blue as well as a small, medium, large. Now, a configurable product is made up of simple products. Uh, what I mean by this is, in order for you to make a configurable product, you need to make sure that you add your small red dress, medium red dress, and large red dress, as well as your small blue, medium blue, large blue, and so on. Once you have created these simple products, you can configure them as a configurable product. Now, one of the biggest advantages of using a configurable product is that you can actually charge extra. Let's say a small red dress or the options small red dress is a little bit more expensive. You can charge people extra and then you can make sure that you can manage your inventory as well. So that's some of the biggest advantages of using a configurable product. Moving on we have something called group products. Now, a group product, for example, is something that you would sell as a group. Uh, for example, let's say that you want to sell an iPhone and you want to make sure that you group some related items for the iPhone along with what you're selling. An example would be selling an iPhone along with a iPhone case, an iPhone car charger, and as well as an iPhone car stand. So if you want to incentivize people to buy things as a group and kind of give them a discount saying that, hey, if you buy your iPhone and, and these are the products together, I'll give you a discount. That's what you can do in group products. Now, one downside is you can't put a specific price, but you can, but you can give them a discount. Now, group products and bundle products are a little bit different. Uh, a group product doesn't give the user the ability to buy things in separate because you're basically saying buy these all and I'll give you a discount. Now this is different from a bundle product. A bundle product where is something that you can bundle together. The best example I can think of is buying a desktop computer for example. Uh, when you're buying a desktop computer you can say I'm buying the desktop computer with 2.1 gigahertz of uh, speed and you want 4 gigs of uh, RAM or memory, you want a 500 gigabyte disk space and a 32 gig video card. Uh, now this would all include, this will be all included in a bundle product and that's exactly what a bundle product is. Another example I can think of is buying a camera. When you're buying a camera, you can say, hey, you want to buy the camera without a lens or you want a, a, sp a specific kind of lens or you can buy it with memory, a memory card or no memory card. So basically bundling things up would be an example of what bundle projects are. Now, just like in configurable products, group products and bundle products all consist of simple products that you actually have to enter into the system first. Once you enter the different options, in this case for the bundle products, uh, the memory cards that we were talking about or the different sizes of hard disk that you are talking about will be added as a separate simple unit with its own SKU number and inventory. Uh, one of the great things about all of these uh, options that I'm telling you is depending on what you set your Magento settings to, you can easily manage your inventory. So if something doesn't 
uh, something is out of stock or you ran out of it depending on your settings it will either disappear or basically say it's out of stock on your website moving on to downloadable products now it, it's exactly as it sounds it's something that you can download think of an ebook an mp3 or a file that you want to sell to people or a piece of software uh, once somebody buys it and they have achieved a payment success they can simply go ahead and download because Magento uh, one of the things you need to do is you need to upload these files into your server or a different server once you have done that uh, and payment success has been achieved Magento sends the customer an encrypted link saying go here and download the product uh, and after that we are moving on oh yeah before I do that one of the biggest things one of the most important things about downloadable products because this is a question that I get from a lot of my customers uh, let's say I do download something I do buy something from you and I do download it there's nothing preventing me from copying it and emailing it to a friend now that falls under something called digital rights management which is not something that Magento covers Magento simply gives you the capability of selling downloadable products on your website okay the last product on the list is what you call virtual products virtual product is different from downloadable products because it doesn't have anything that you can download so think of a service think of for example what I do I do website design and Magento websites it's not something that you can necessarily download right away once you have paid for it or a warranty service for your phone service or your laptop or your iPad uh, or a house cleaning service that you want to uh, sell to people uh, these are examples of simple virtual products that you can use so that concludes uh, our tutorial today on what the different types of products that's used in Magento I hope this was helpful and I would really appreciate any feedback that you have for me so once again my name is Don and I am from DonWebSolutions.com if you have any questions please reach out to me uh, my information is listed on the screen uh, and I will get back to you the moment I can thank you